welcome to 25 days of Britmas. Let's get on with the video. Hi guys, welcome back to another day of Britmas. Today we are going, I'm going to be showing you guys my home planner. So like I said in my planner lineup, this is my home planner. I got the idea from Organized Money. So if you want to see like a real hardcore like planner, system like check out organized money i really love her method so i try to adapt that into my life while also realizing that i i don't i don't need everything that she has so i have let's see we we have four planners in this so what's there okay so what's funny is i planned out this planner so basically these are the lavender this let me restart this is the happy planner classic cover um i bought a happy planner like two or three years ago and like this has just been collecting dust so have these so i decided to make it a disc system so that i could use the stuff i already had because like i said trying to run a more zero waste life this came from breezy's empire um, I'll try to remember to leave a link if you want the sticker. It's freaking dope. But basically, I made dividers with cardstock and just used um, five milliliter or five mil laminate and then punched holes in them and voila. Um, they're not the sturdiest of sturdiest. I think next time I'll go for a thicker laminate, but they get the job done and so I created top tabs and side tabs so I just want to show you um, what's inside of it and then what I have plans I took out some pages already because I've already started trying to figure out what what would work best so specifically in the house the first section is the house binder part so like I was telling you guys in this video or in a previous video my goals the things that I want to do in the house planner is I kind of want to use this as home decor um, and everything, but I don't want to waste the pages that I've already printed. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take these brain dump pages and I'm going to turn them into the design pages, um, just basically like paste over it. And so uh, each one would be a different room. So this prob I'll probably start doing this with the office first. Um, because the way that the office is now, like I want it to just be, I want it to be pretty and organized. So that's probably what the first project is going to be is finishing off the office. And then we'll work on the decor for the library. So the office is going to be first. So that's what I'm going to use for these pages. Um, I can, these are just blank or line pages, nothing important. Um, I decided originally I was like, Ooh, I should do a cookbook. That'll be really, really cute. But I just decided that um, this will probably have its own section. So this will probably be the last section here. All these tabs are blank because I'm changing the whole system for the home system. So obviously the first tab, like I said, will be plants. Um, this is where I will keep track of their watering schedule. I'll have like my soil compositions, like when's the last time they were fertilized, all that stuff will be here. Um, yeah, I am a plant lady. I've got 17 in my house currently and four outside. And then in the spring, I will be rebuilding Black Eden outside. So yeah. Um, the next tab, which is blank, um, I'm calling this the how do I put this? Like, I'm calling this the actual home one. So this will have like HOA, um, like plumber, all that stuff. All that information will be here. Um, anything involving like HOA fees, meetings, blah, 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 blah. That'll all be right here. Like, I don't really need to do multiple tabs for this. So that's where we're keeping this here. Also, um, in this tab, it'll be a house punch list. So basically, um me getting different things for the house done um like i'm gonna hire like pest control because the wasps in my backyard are fierce um lawn care that kind of thing so that's all gonna go in this tab so like i said um this one of the tabs will be recipes um and things of that nature because i do like cooking and i do like following recipes and i have recipe books that i haven't used in a really long time so i do want to get back to that but 
it'll probably be blank for sorry I got a FaceTime so yeah this is the house one I haven't quite figured out everything that's going in the house section but that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about I can't do everything that she does because it's like it don't work like that but um, I do look forward to using this for like home decor and when I uh, design my rooms I will show you guys the uh, the inspiration boards that I use to create the rooms I'm very excited okay so next thing is the health page or the health section so I decided to make a health section but my health section is a little bit different than some of the other people's that I've seen because a lot of people you know they have like kids and stuff but it's just me so I decided that I would have um, just like goals nothing major um, but I would have like self trackers right it's where like exercise food self-care other stuff and I still actually want to do this just because if you guys remember in my video I had that um, B6 where I was going to actually be taking that to the gym with me and tracking it. So I think I like the idea of planning it out here and then executing it and then tracking in real time in that planner. So I think that's what I wanna do. I've got all these extra pages um, that were supposed to be weekly agendas, but I turned them into exercise trackers. So I think I'm, I'm gonna still use these pages and see like, is this something that actually will work for me? Um, because I just kind of started this one. Um, these tabs are very new. So, yeah. The next section is health information, which I'm not going to show you guys, but, um, that's like doctors, medications, all that stuff, um, prescriptions, all that junk that'll be in there. I, I need to make a, a folder to add to this section, um, which I think, I think scrap fantastic scrap fantastic I think that's the tutorial that I used for that but I'm not showing you guys that then I have like what I call the loss diary so there's two sections there is the loss tracker where um, they're just these are just leftover monthly agendas and they're not gonna have like a month or a day or anything it's just gonna be um, when I weigh in like that's when I'll be tracking like the weight loss and it'll just be like in this motion um, and we'll like go from there and like milestones that I hit. Um, I'll have like little rewards here um, for when I actually can meet those and all that stuff. So that's what this is. And then the next page is just dot grids um, because I don't know what I'm going to track yet. Um, tracking steps and stuff. I don't know if that matters in weight loss, but I do kind of want to see. So that's what we have these blank pages for. Now, this next section is my favorite section so far. It is my finance section. So this is getting changed again because, you know, I'm learning. i um, trying to get a better handle on my budget. So um, obviously we'll not be showing you that. But I have a check register um, page. And then I have a tides tracker yes i do pay tides and i like to keep track of it because that is something that i put on my taxes though i can just request um a form from my church i like to keep track of it myself here um i have one two three four i have five tabs here and this is where things get fun so i'm trying to get better at tracking everything that i do as far as finances because i have some financial goals that I want to hit in 2021 and in order to hit those goals I have to be very meticulous about my budget this year um, and then of course buying a new house there are a lot of expenses that come up that I just wasn't ready for um, so I need to build back up everything so the first tab is my budget my budget is very intricate um, so first I start off by writing all of my regular bills. So these are like the recurring ones for every month, utilities, mortgage, etc. So those are my regular bills. So then I take those regular bills and I put them, this is gonna be super interesting. Um, yeah, this is just what it is. So I put them here and I don't really wanna show that information. So yeah. So I put that here and then I write like my incomes, my bank statements are here 
And then uh, I got the idea from organized money where each one denotes a different form of income and that's what's paying that particular bill. So every different color is a different um, paycheck essentially. So I do that and then I take that information and what I'm going to essentially do is, or what I've been doing is not really like the, it's the envelope system without the envelope. So I've just been using every dollar where um, I have like spending money and things like that. And then I track them in the expense tab. Yeah, there we go. I'm covering that one, but this is where I write my expenses and I try to do this every day because I'm trying to get used to checking my money at least weekly, but I want to be able to do this every day so I can really see where I'm spending money and stuff like that. Um, also with savings, hold on, this is the savings log. So, um, this is not, um, this is not my sinking funds. These are my savings accounts. So I have multiple savings accounts, one being an emergency and one being my regular savings. So I have a certain goal that I want to reach for each um, account. So this is where I will track like when I'm actually putting money into those accounts. I'm not going to show you the other side because obviously I'm using it. Um, the next thing is sinking funds. So um, the sinking funds that I'm currently working on are house fees and blinds. Um, so I need to update these because I actually paid, put money into both of these accounts. Um, so I'm sinking funds are basically you just setting aside money for a specific task. So a lot of my sinking funds for the next couple of, month, of months will be um, devoted to the house. Unless I finally get to travel, then we'll have a sinking fund for travel as well. Um, also this is goes into, uh, my debt tracker. So I have two big pieces of debt. That is my car and my mortgage. So that will be something that I'm tracking here. Um, but again, I'm not, I didn't write anything cause I don't want to show you guys like that stuff. Cause I'm not a finance YouTuber. I'm just letting you guys know I've become obsessed. So the next tab in this section is my last tab. And it's my faith tab. And I got this tab directly from Organized Money. And I like the idea. So I have a dailies tab where I write my daily scripture. It's not perfect. I'm not perfect. Um, I miss some days sometimes. But I'm just trying to be honest with myself and just like write it out. Like I need to write the one for today. I haven't written it. So um, yeah, I'm just working on that. Also, I have lessons in my phone from the Bible app that I use. So these are like my lessons. So this one was um, seven things the Bible says about anxiety. And then the next lesson was worry. Um, this was the worry, this was anxiety. I'm gonna do, so whenever I do a lesson, that's kind of how it'll be. And then this tab is for like Bible study or if I'm watching church online or anything like that and I wanna jot down notes, that's what this section is for. Um, yeah, so that is my house planner. She is a work of art and she is in the works. <laughs> so um, that's my baby girl. The thing that I like is that because I have the extenders, like I can make it a little bit bigger um, than the regular size. And because I haven't even added the pages in, I know that's gonna come in handy. So um, my question to you guys is, um, do you keep track of anything like this? I know some people think that this is extensive, but I'm a person that actually does better as far as holding myself accountable when I track things. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for checking out my house planner. And until the next, I think tomorrow. Bye guys.